So today we're going to talk about very basic wiring or beginner's wiring. If you've never wired anything before, this is a video to start you off. So we got, what we're going to do is bring 14-2 wire into a switch and then give power to the light. So the power to the switch first, then to the light. So you actually got three wires coming in here. You got a black hot wire, a ground, and a neutral wire. The hot wire comes into the switch and the bottom of the switch and then when you flip it over, it gives power to the light, which goes with the gold screw. The neutral wire or the white wire comes in, gets marred and goes to the silver part of the light. The ground screw coming in gets grounded to the electrical box and it's marred and it runs to the actual switch. And it is also grounded to the electrical box. This light will fit on top of that electrical box. And we're going to introduce these... Uh, Wago connectors or this MAR connector when you're connecting your wires together. So today I'm going to show you how to hook up a power to the switch and then power to the light. Now this is a, just a prop. This you don't you wouldn't wire it like like this. This is just a prop. This is just so I can show you the demo on how to wire it. So we're going to hook up this actual wire would go into your switch, and this is just a junction box just hooking up the cab tire with the whites and the blacks and the grounds here. And then we're gonna work on hooking this to the switch and then to the light. So this is just a prop. I'm not gonna be using this in, in real life, just a prop to show you how to wire to a switch to a light. So I'm gonna run power into the light switch first. We use this junction box here, this uh, electrical box rather. So we're going to bring a wire into the switch here, power into the switch, and then we're going to put power back out for the switch into the light. Now the newer switches have what they call a ground, ground wire on them. The, the older ones didn't have that. They have three old ones here. None of them have any grounds on them. This is an old switch here. It's an old toggle switch here. That's very old here. None of them have any grounds on them. The newer switches have grounds on them. Now, if you have an old switch, you can still do it. It can still work. If there's no ground, it will still work. We're going to show you how to hook it up. Before we start, a couple of things I want to mention here. See, it says on here, and this is off up here. Now, if you hook the, the into the box like this, and you bring your a hot wire in, and then your other wire goes to your light, when you turn the switch on, it says on. Now, if you flip the switch, now when you turn it on, it actually says off. It'll still work. Just a technicality here. So you always position my switch this way. So when I put it on, it shows on on the, on the switch itself. So we're going to run power to the box here, the electrical box, to the switch first, and then I'm going to put it to the light. So with we'll for Pair of this electrical box, so this is like a one where you fit on a 2x4 and then it just stops here for your jip rock here. And there's a space for your jip rock here. Uh, all kinds of different electrical boxes out there. So we're going to take the tabs out of the bottom here so we can run the wires. Right in the bottom here, take that tab and bend it out. Comes off fairly easy here. One on the top as well. Bring the electrical on the top to the light. So these just bend off. Easy here. Now we're going to take these two screws and loosen them. Put the wires inside here. This electric box has clamps built right into it. The bottom and the top here. So loosen them off here. The bottom and the top. And then when you run your wires on the bottom and the top, just tighten these clamps down to hold your wires in place. So these pliers have the cutters on them to cut the sheathing here, 14-2. Same with this, I'm going to put this wire between the switch and the light fixture. 
They suggest using it between 6 and 8 inches of wire inside the electrical box. This part's going to go with a light. So we'll use the 14-2 here to get the ends off here. This is going to go to the light. The other end is going to go to the switch. And I'm going to put it into the uh, Vigo connectors, the white wire. This is our power source. We'll cut the ends of the wire here. Put our wires in here. Tighten that down here. This electrical box has clamps built right into it. that inside here this 14 2 wire is the ground there's a hot wire and a neutral wire and this is coming from the power source into the box tighten it down when you're clamping the clamp down make sure that you're clamping it on the plastic uh, sheeting on the wire so it doesn't damage the wires going inside of the box. So you, for you to see the uh, ground being hooked up, I'll take the side plate off, and then you'll be able to see it better. Loosen that screw in the top here, and then that slides out in the bottom here. So you turn it and it slides off. Now you can see where the ground is here now. I'm going to hook the ground around that wire and tighten it. So I want to loop it around that screw in the back of the box here, the ground screw. And you want to loop it the same way you turn it. So there it is. I'll tighten it down. Now I'll connect the three grounds together, put this plate back on. You don't have to do it what I did, I just took it off to show you. So that just slides back in and goes back into place here. And you tighten the screw back down. Makes it easier for demonstration. Now I can connect all three grounds and then jumper wire to the uh, switch. Put all the grounds together. This is a Vago connector and I did a video on this and uh, this easy just snaps in there. Put your wire in, it snaps in here. Put all the grounds together. And then the jumper wire that in there as well.
All your grounds are con contained in this video connector. You could use the mark connectors if you don't have the video connectors. They'll work the same thing. You just tie all the wires together and tighten this on. All three copper wires together, all grounds together. So loop the ground wire on the ground screw on the switch and loop it the same way you're going to turn the screw so it tightens on there. So all the grounds are connected now. I'm going to connect the white wires with the... So now we're going to connect the white wires, the neutral wires, with the Vigo connector. Or you can use the, the MAR connector. I prefer the Vigo connector. Connect the white wires together. And then we're going to take the black wires on each side of the screw on the switch. So connect those Vigo connector. Vigo connector works so nice. You just push it in there. Snap it in there. And it makes a nice connection here. You don't have to worry about twisting. So now the whites are connected, the neutrals are connected. And then we're gonna hook up the black wire to the switch itself. So this is the power coming in. So we're gonna hook up the power on the bottom of the switch here so that that other one's gonna go to the top. So when you turn it on, it'll be in the right position. So when you turn to flip the switch on, the power will come on. So we'll hook up that power to the bottom one. We'll loop it first. So loop the wire. And we're gonna turn it the same way. So the power goes in the bottom of the switch, loop that around. And the same thing, you wanna tighten that. Loop it the same way you tighten it. Now we'll put the power going to the light on the top of the switch. So loop that wire as well. I'm gonna hook that on the top of the switch. So this black on the top goes to the light. So you hook that in and the same thing, you hook it in the same way you turn it. So it tightens it up on it. reviewing you've got the neutrals connected with a with the Vago connector or you can use the MAR connector the grounds are all connected with the Vago connected grounded to the box and grounded to the the actual switch itself now we'll put everything in the box then we'll hook up the uh, wires to the light This electrical box is going to hold your light in place. So we remove this tab, bring the wire inside here. It's got a clamp inside that'll hold your wire in place, your 14 to 2 wire in place. And loosen that clamp. And then uh, loosen the ground screw. We're going to ground the, the ground in the octagon box here. This is the wire coming from the switch. So we're going to put it inside the octagon box here. And then we're gonna put the ground in. We're gonna put the tighten it down there, the clamp down to hold the uh, wires in place here. And you want to uh, put a sheathing there so that it, it clamps on the sheathing and not the electrical wires itself. To tighten this down there, that clamp will tighten down nicely and hold your electrical wire in place here. And uh, there's not much room between the switch and the uh, and the light and the the light, but. Uh, this is just a demonstration, so. So loop the three wires, the copper, it's gonna go to ground. Loop the white wire, neutral wire. And the black wire. So 
to hook the ground wire to the uh, box and you loop it the same way you tighten it. So neutral wire goes on to the silver screw here, the white wire. Just tighten that up a bit here. Loops the same way you tighten the screw. And the black wire, the power goes on to the gold screw. Just tighten that up a bit. So neutral goes under the uh, silver screw and the gold, the, the power goes on to the gold screw. So loosen these two screws and the light's going to go on that, those screws hold it into your box here, electrical box here. So put the, your light over top of those screws and just turn it and then just tighten it and tighten your screws down to hold the lamp into your electrical box here. The covers on the others, electrical boxes. So that is extra step. I put the junction box, so I put the uh, cap tire and hook up to the regular 14 2 wire, so that you could see actual 14 2 wire coming into the switch rather than that cab wire. The new switch plate is nylon. Unbreakable. This is one of the newer uh, switch plates. It's about a 3 8 larger than a normal switch plate here. I like it with this switch plate. The screws are actually held in place at the switch plate itself. And the screws don't come in a separate package. So it makes it easier to assemble. Better advantage of having the screws stored in the switch plate itself, then you don't have to look for the screws if for some reason you took the plate off and you wanted it for something else. We get the power on, now we switch it on, so it shows off here, and then switch it on, so it's on here. We got it hooked the right way, and it's working. I hope you enjoyed my video on how to basically wire power to the switch and then to the light. And if enough interest, uh, I'll show you how to wire the light first, then to the switch. So ring that bell because there's other videos coming up. Uh, one of my posts uh, on my screwdriver reviews said, you ever try the Klein 15 and one It's a different screwdriver. And I noticed when I bought it, they got these two different bits here. And guess what? That'll be on this type of a screw. And this type of screw will have a combination slotted in the Robertson. So i anxious to try that out. So ring that bell and be notified the next time I upload a video. I'd like to thank all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. Watch this for the first time today. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Have a great day, people.